Schaefer Linden Self Storage, new modern facility, climate control, wide range of sizes, easy access, one level storage, U Haul trucks, packing supplies, easy, easy access, access, safe, affordable, and conveniently close to you. 14 541 Schaefer Road. You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. The following program does not reflect the views and opinions of Channel 33, its management or sponsors. It's a good day, y'all. It's a good day to be here and to be alive. I always say any day above ground is better than none at all. It's a good day in Detroit. I know the snow is coming. I know the storm is coming. But we're going to hold back the snow, all right? Y'all pray with me about that. Hold back that snow. We can do that if we all touch and agree. It can turn all the way back around and go back wherever it came from. But it's always good to say it's a good day in Detroit when there's so much good going on in Detroit. We know that the Contours and Priscilla Price are having a Thanksgiving breakfast. Gonna be, uh, well, Thanksgiving is right around the corner with Thursday, right? So we wanna make sure that you know about that and we're gonna make sure we let you know where it's gonna be and how to get your tickets and all that good stuff. But also, as we said, it's always something good happening in Detroit, it's not always bad. Today we're going to talk about the goodness that's going on in the city of Detroit. We're going to talk about the goodness that can turn all the way around because when I ask on Facebook, what do people think about the democracy going on for DPS? People said, you've been, you, have you been asleep because they're crashing? So we're going to talk to our friend Sherry about what we can do as community people that it won't crash if it did crash if it is crashing, what can we do? Also, we have visiting with us from North Carolina, a young lady who can sing, gospel singer extraordinaire, all the way from North Carolina. Her name is Arnetta Muriel, Muriel, Muriel Crooms. And I may mess that up, but we'll get sure that we'll get it right when she comes on air. But in the meantime, let me say thank you to to Mike Bird from Floods, Mike Bird from Mr. Mike's. He now owns and opened up, and we were there yesterday celebrating with the uh, Bartenders Association as they celebrated and had a scholarship fundraiser for young people at the Woodward Gardens. The Woodward Gardens, I don't know if you've heard of that yet. Beautiful place. Looked like something out of Las Vegas. Just beautiful. And I'm excited to know that we have a part in that as an African-American. It's in Midtown. So I don't know if you've ever been there. I don't know if you've ever had a chance to stop by there, but make sure you kind of look at it as you go by and put your hand out and bless it as you go by. The Woodward Gardens. 
I'm excited to know that we have something like that. I think the place must hold about 700 to 1,000 people with the round tables in there having like a banquet or dinner. We had dinner last night, great entertainment they had. And I understand they just had mint condition was there not too long ago. So they have been around for more than just what I thought it was for last night as a grand opening. So make sure you're abreast of everything that's going on in the city of Detroit. Make sure you're a part, make sure you support. Talking about support, I love you that you do support us and that you're always tuning in with us, Facebook family, Highland Park, Detroit, all the way to Atlanta, even sometimes Japan. I tell you, God is a good God. And we're gonna give the number for call in for those of you that want to call. Someone told me that I say it too fast, so I'm gonna say it a little bit slower, 313. 313- Eight six eight four three three six, and the numbers are at the bottom of the screen for those of you that don't remember the number right away. Three one three eight six eight four three three six. We'd love to hear from you in this season of Thanksgiving. Tell me what you're thankful for, and if I get a good thankfulness of what you're thankful for, I'm going to give you my CD. I have a live CD from Sweden, and I'm going to make sure you get that CD as well as my Christmas CD. It'll be on sale coming next week, but you can win it today. 313-868-4336 if you know the answer. In the meantime, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Don't go away. You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. King Pharmacy has professional services, senior discounts, prescription counseling. King Pharmacy is here to serve all your prescription needs. For more information, call 313-331-8484. That's 313-331-8484. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. are back and it's still a good day I'm excited to have this young lady with me because when Bruce Knight who is from Detroit sent me this CD by her I was like oh my god awesome (laughs) awesome young lady singing from her depths of her spirit and her soul I'm excited to have Miss Arnetta Merle Merle that's what I messed up Merle Crooms yes ma'am how you doing sweetie I'm doing wonderful give me a hug yes (laughs) ma'am So glad she traveled all the way from South Carolina into this cold weather here. Is it too cold for oh you? My, I don't know how y'all do it. I do. <laughs> I'm trying, but it's. It, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. I'm excited for you to be here. Awesome. You be sure to tell Bruce that we send our love to him and I thank sure him will. for thinking about us. We thank you, Bruce. We love you. I'm hoping that he's listening to us. I'm hoping and so watching too. us. <laughs> you know, you can get us on your phone now on your cell phone. <laughs> All you have to do is go to the app store on your phone and put in TV33 and you can see us and view us. And those of you that are viewing and seeing us, please call in and give some love, give some Detroit love to Arnetta. 313-868-4336. 313-868-4336. Arnetta. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
When did we start this singing, girl? Well, my mother um, started with me at the age of two years old. Oh, my goodness. Yes, okay. Ma yes, ma'am. Two years old. Um, I remember her putting me on boxes in mm -hmm. churches because I was so short. Okay. But uh, it, it began at the very early age of two. So do I understand that she was a singer as well? Yes, yes. She's a singer. She's a songwriter, a musician. Mm -hmm. She was very multi-talented. She did a lot of things. And uh, one of the things that she did and did well was to um, raise her children in the music industry. Mm -hmm. You know, just raise us up, just teaching us and grooming us. Right. And so as... And it's a whole lot of us. It's six of us. But um, one, by lot, one, one by one, one by one. You know, I, I don't know if it's a whole lot in this time and age. It used to be like when people say I have a whole lot in my family, it would be 12. True, true. Instead of six. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but for me at that time, it seems mm -hmm. like it was a lot because I have five brothers and no sisters. Oh, my. <laughs> so that was a lot. So are you spoiled? I wouldn't say that. I, 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 I wouldn't say that because. See, I'm the same way. I have five brothers. I'm the only girl. Why do people but automatically? I'm spoiled. You I are, am. really? I'll admit it. Well, I bet it's a good kind of spoil, not the bad kind of spoil. It's good. It's no, never bad. It's never bad. I yes. don't think so. I don't think so. You know, either. I just think you're the baby, and that's a good thing to be. Well, did you have chores, and did you have responsibilities? Of course, and, of course. You know. Now you didn't. I wasn't that spoiled where my mom would say. See, that's or what my I'm dad saying. would say. She don't have to do that. Don't have to do anything, but just. Although be my dad would used to protect me. Okay. When it came to anything involved, maybe getting a whipping, right? He'd always say, "Don't do that, Belle, or don't y'all leave her alone. Don't mess with the baby." I wasn't that fortunate. <laughs> I, I had my share. Oh, as they say, whippings. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had my share. So <laughs> my dad called me baby until I was forty some years old. Oh, how yeah. sweet! Well, Just you know, you'll baby. always be their baby. At least that's oh, what yeah, my no mom said. How old no you get. matter how old you mm -hmm. get. So. so when did you professionally start singing, though? Professionally started mm -hmm. singing. Um, I would say. Um, about over 10 years ago because um, okay. when I met Donald Lawrence, well, I've been knowing him all my life. I was going to say you traveled with him for a I while I traveled too, right? with him. I sure did. And mm -hmm. uh, that was about um, a decade ago. Okay. So, um, um, it's been a wonderful experience. Have you, you always know? known that during the time that you traveled, how many years did you travel with him? Um, it's um, about, um, I want to say 20 years Okay, did you, years. during that time, did you always want to be on your own or you love just doing any time, any time I can just sing? Any time I could just sing. I just love singing. I knew singing was something I was supposed to do on mm -hmm. this earth, but I never wanted to go do it alone. Mm -hmm. I got very, very comfortable just working with people being behind the scene and, mm -hmm. and they pulling me up to the yeah, front to sing. Yeah, it's easy to stand I don't behind do somebody and sing. Yes. A lot of people don't know that until they put you out front and you're like, okay, right. put on the brakes. Can we pause for a minute? <laughs> and then let me sing. Right. But they pull you up. That's But that's a part of growth. Yes, ma'am. When people can pull you up and make you sing and make you join in. Yes, yes. You know, it's, you, it's, have, you learn a lot. It's so You learn how to ad lib. You yes. know what I'm saying? A lot of young kids don't know how to do that nowadays. That's true. You know, they just know what they know and they can do that. But when it comes to someone saying, come on and sing a part of this song with me or just pulling them out, like at the very moment, they're right. just, they just go like, okay, what do I do? Right. You don't freeze. You have no. to do something. And one of the things when I, when I came into Tri-City, mm -hmm. you know, um, there was everybody could sing. Everybody in the choir was was really good. Right, you could tell that and to, from the music. To be the music. thrown into that, all all those gifts. I'm mm -hmm. like, and then they told, okay, now do you? you now know? is he in North Carolina? Is he in North Carolina as well? He's he he was born and raised in North Carolina, but he's in he's in Chicago at this at this time now. Okay, Not and always. you got with him through North Carolina or through Chicago? Uh, through North Carolina. I've been knowing Donald for a very long time, but mm -hmm. um, when he went off to college and came back to North Carolina, we met, okay. um, surprisingly. And then he mm -hmm. was telling me what he was doing and then invited me to, be, to come along. And that's how that started. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful gift. It is. Now, one of the things, speaking of gifts that you have, not only singing, but I understand you're a life coach. Yes, ma'am. Tell us what that means, because many of us don't understand what that means. Well, for life coach, basically, and if I can, if I can just say it in the most simplest form, mm -hmm. uh, it's taking a pe taking people where they are to where they'd like to be. And for me, that was ministry. I say, oh God, I see you in that. Okay. I can take the principles and the fundamentals that I've learned mm -hmm. and apply scripture to it to support 
and help win a soul, bring right. a soul to Christ. Because now you in the last, I'm going to say in the last season here, maybe in the last five or six years, you've been hearing a lot of Christian television talk about putting life coaches in their churches. Right. You know, so a lot of, and a lot of people are open to it, but then you got, you are always have those that question as to yeah. what does that really mean? What does right. that do? But you've learned how to take the principles and put them with the scriptures to make you understand that you can do that. Right. And, and that it's okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I have very strong Christian values mm -hmm. and um, um, I discern very well. So if anything looks spooky or weird, I don't want no part of it. Right. But I was, right. God was able to let me see him through uh, uh, coaching because it was coaching that got me to go solo. It, it helped me, you know. Okay, well, someone, God was my life. Coached you? God was my life coach okay. in this. I point. hear you. You see what now, I'm saying? Because coach. I, as a solo mm -hmm. artist, I didn't want that. I didn't want to do that. Right. And so God um, wanted me to be able to lean on Him more because I had got comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, I had gotten too comfortable and I he wanted me to trust him more. So mm -hmm. now that I'm out here, I'm able to see life and music industry from his perspective. Right. You know, and just right. not from everybody's eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, with this life coaching, is that something that you can do on the line, on the phone or they have to be right present with you? Well, it really depends on the coach. But okay. from the school that I have came from, uh, okay. which is Institute of Professional Excellence in Life Coaching, mm -hmm. um, they encourage you to um, coach by phone. Okay. You know? So is there a number that people can call you on if they, we have some people out there listening that might want to have a life coach to help them. And let me say what she was saying, that helping you in your vision and your dreams and your desires, where you want to go with it. And this is a good time to really get into that as we go into the new year. You know, every year we're talking about my resolution is this and this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And a year goes by and you haven't done it. So I think that if you're really wanting to do this and that you need some assistance, some push, because that is wonderful about a life coach is that they make you get up and do Absolutely. something. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know. And it's about getting your priorities in order. Sometimes we just need a little push. Right. We need somebody to hold us accountable. You know, because, mm -hmm. you know, with all the clutter that's in the world, you can easily get distracted. Right. But if you had somebody that you kind of report to, somebody who who's nonjudgmental, somebody mm -hmm. who cares and want to see you thrive, then life coaches is, are the best right. are, are the best people to find. And is there a number, though, that we can reach well, you at? Well, my you? business has, is not quite established yet because okay. I've been focusing on my career, career music career. Career music. Right. Okay. And, um, uh, but when it does, you know, I would definitely have to let you know and you must. come back and share that on okay. your show. Okay, yeah, we'll come back and talk about that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Let's talk about how you wear all these different hats mm. and also be a mommy and a wife. How I wear all these different mm -hmm. hats. Well, years ago... I had to wear even more hats because my children okay. were at home. Mm -hmm. But now that they're out, you know, I don't mm -hmm. have to wear as many. But I've taken on a new Can hat. Can you imagine her having grown <laughs> children? She don't even look grown herself. Bless That's you. a wonderful <laughs> thing, girl. Well, I have them. I tell you, not, they, when I look at them, they remind me that I am mommy. Mm -hmm. But um, um, I just believe that when you put God first in everything. That's it. He, yes. he will help you. Mm -hmm. He will help you. It's not easy. It's yeah. not easy being mm -hmm. a parent. You know, you, you every day you, you're learning and trying to right. find what works best for you because what mom and daddy did for you may not work for your group mm -hmm. or kids. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you just have to, through trial and error, you just, you know, figure that out. How it's going to be. God gives you the grace mm -hmm. to get through it. Well, you have a, she has a wonderful husband, Mr. Cruz. I do. Who has been working with her and traveling with her as a manager, I understand. Yes, he is my and, manager. You know, that's something that we are together my husband and I are like that 24-7 as well. And sometimes it can be easy and sometimes it can't, you know, because everybody has their own opinion about what they want to do. <laughs> That's so true. She's laughing because she know I'm telling the truth. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's not, mm -hmm. it's, you know, but you know what, what, what's so good about being married to someone who wants to see you at your best. Right. You know. That's key. That's really key. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to go any further than mm -hmm. that. You it's know, key. sometimes you do clash at times. Right. And I mean, that's part of being married. And, but, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, you know, sometimes they get uh, like, okay. I don't know. I'm the man. I don't know what she should do. I'm the man, but some, you know, you've been blessed that you don't have that situation. I've been blessed. I don't have that situation. I have a good husband. And my I husband do. knows yeah. who he is. Yes. As well as I always tell my girls this, and I'm going to tell you this out there. 
what makes a wonderful life in a marriage is that God is first. God is first. I always tell my husband, I want you to love God more than you love me. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to love God more than I love you. And then that way we can come together and really love. Absolutely. It keeps it together. So now you come up with this song. Well, you didn't come up with the song. <laughs> I sure didn't. What made you want to do a remake of I Am God? Well, no, I, Donald Lawrence, my, my God brother, my, mm-hmm. my friend, mm-hmm. I mean, my, my confidant, he, he um, came up with this song that I thought wasn't, at the t- first time, at first, I didn't think it was for me. Okay. You know, I was like, oh gosh, this is not, I want something cute. Can mm-hmm. I get something a little cute? It's so hard, you know? And he's like, <laughs> right. no, Ned, I know your voice. And he's mm-hmm. always said that. And he, mm-hmm. certainly he came up with this song and wanted me to do it and, uh, and it fits so well. And it does, and it does. And, and the message gonna, is so true. And it is, and we're gonna have her sing that, but we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> And we are back again, and it's a good day, y'all, with Arnetta, who is still with me. Arnetta, let me ask you this question. Now, is this single going to be preparing you for a CD? Or is it, what are you doing here? Well, the project is already here. It's already available. It it was released on uh, um, October the 15th. Okay, so it's a CD entitled I Am God as well. It's a, it's a, no, it's a self-entitled okay. album. Yes, ma'am. Self-entitled. Yes. Now, what does that mean, self-entitled? Just doesn't have a title. You know, I didn't, um, it's just uh, my whole CD. It's about me, um, my journey, my okay. journey. Are uh, you got any originals on this, this CD? Originals? Do you, have you written any songs? I have, I have. There's five songs that I've written. All right, girl. Five songs. Um, one is called you. You know, everybody can't write. I know, but you know what? God is really, he's Gifted really. you in that. I'm learning and I'm growing, and he's mm-hmm. allowing me that opportunity to do so. So I want to encourage 
all of those who've ever thought that they could write a song but was afraid and didn't think they could. Right. You know, you can mm -hmm. by the grace of God. And you just have to get out there and just take a risk. And that's what I did. And God has graced me to do it. That's a wonderful thing to have something of yours on a CD because so many times when you do recordings and somebody has written most of all the songs. True. And especially also to do a cover song. Absolutely. Yeah. I, 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 I feel so blessed. Now, before I have her sing this song, I want to ask you one more question. Okay. What is it that you want to do that you have not done yet? What is it that I'd like to do mm -hmm. that I have not done because yet? Because you sing, life coaching, being a mom, being a wife. What is it? Is it something that you desire in this, you know, if you had a bucket list, mm. what, would, what would be in that bucket list? Um, I, I would, I love to, wow, no one has ever asked me that question before. Okay. But I, I think I can come up with something because there's so many things, because I feel like, I feel like I'm evolving. There's so many things I'd mm -hmm. like to do, so it's so hard to pick one, mm -hmm. but, um, I'd like to, 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 to. Uh, sing songs that the world will hear and be able to embrace and not just a church. Right. I'd like to get into Come on acting Come and on doing now. some commercials. That's I want to I'm really evolve. I, I don't think it's time to sit down and be still. I think that you, we all should be busy, busy for the kingdom, busy right. being at our best, mm -hmm. you know, being the light that we're supposed to be in this dark world. Well, she's definitely that light. As you look at her, you can <laughs> see she's the light. So now let's hear that light. Let me make sure that we're ready to play that track for her as she can sing for us, I Am God. All right. I think that's the one you're going to do? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to okay. do that for you. We're ready, maestro. Okay. Okay. Yes, he is. He is good. We're living in perilous times now, so be not afraid. Remember our God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob. He is the same today as he was yesterday, and he's speaking to this generation. He is able and willing to fight all of our battles and generously supply all of our needs. Amen. He is the great I am. Yay! Right where you are, come on, put those hands together. Come on, let's declare yes. the word of the Lord. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes. Don't ever let this word get away from you. Yes. Can do things. Jesus, hallelujah. Yay. Whatever you need, just tell daddy about it. I was there. Yes. In the beginning. Yes. Hallelujah. And now be there when you get to the yes. I'm all seeing, all knowing, all mighty, ever chewing for I am. Who was there? Yes, I was there in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, and I'll be there when you get to the end. I'm all seeing, all knowing, almighty. Yes. If you win, for I am, I am, 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 for I am, for I am, This is what 
my promises. Okay. I'm gonna do, gonna do, gonna do everything that I said I would do. I was there for Daniel, Paul, Silas, James, and John, and I'll be there for you. I'm Apple and Omega, the beginning and ending, ending, whatever, whatever you need, all you gotta do is ask for it. I am, I am. Wonderful. God be glory. To God I be tell glory. you, and God be the glory. And thank you for being with us today. I love you, you for stopping by. Thank you. Here so on your way to be with Dorinda Clark tomorrow. Yes, I'm excited. Tune in and see her with the, with Dorinda Clark. I know it's gonna be exciting. Oh yes. It's yes, gonna be off forward. the chain because I know Dorinda gonna be up shouting on her <laughs> in her heels, <laughs> listening to that. That is awesome. All right, we love you. Give Bruce our love and thank yes, you. Ma'am. Don't go away, y'all. We got some education coming for us. It's a good day. Be right back. Which one would you choose? You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. King Pharmacy has professional services, senior discounts, prescription counseling. King Pharmacy is here to serve all your prescription needs. For more information, call 313-331-8484. That's 313-331-8484. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center.
a good day i tell you i'm still moving from that young lady singing from our Ar- arnetta singing i am and i tell you my next guest we've always asked her to sing something but she never would sing for us <laughs> but today she said she may do something for us so do you want to interview first and then sing well, or let, you want let, let's interview and see how much time we have okay left. let's interview and then we'll see how much time we got but that was awesome wasn't she awesome oh my, my god my awesome. god with that little bitty body singing and like that power coming Woo-wee. out awesome we know that we're going to hear from her i see grammys hallelujah Amen. i see her moving on up in in god's kingdom and making voice everywhere i love her and thank her sherry how are you i am just wonderful thank now, you you've so been much. a busy lady uh remember uh when you were talking about what was going on with dps and the democracy that is not the democracy that's happening and i put it on facebook Okay. And somebody said to me, have you been asleep? Because DM, D, DPS is crashing. Okay. Right well, or wrong? Well, you know, DPS um, has been under the state's control since okay. 1999. And um, unfortunately, uh, in, in a number of instances, the, the true story mm-hmm. of how DPS has been intentionally dismantled uh, by the state, by right. both uh, Democratic and Republican leadership, has had a hand in. Wow. Uh, yes, in the dismantle, dismantle okay. of DPS, and so um, it's unfortunate mm-hmm. uh, that a lot of information is really fed to our community through mainstream media. Right. And uh, depending on who's in charge of the agenda. Uh, and for the most part it's those people that have the funding to do so um, have mainstream media on lock and so the truth um, you have to search for the truth Uh, you have to look through documents that's why we bring you the truth that's right and Mm -hmm. so shows like yours is important and making sure that we have um, outlets uh, that are are not beholding to Mm -hmm. organizations that are trying to push forward their agenda so yes the state has taken over our school since 1999 uh, that first experimental board uh, that English put forth in 1999 okay. uh, with proposal 10 mm-hmm. uh, and that was during a time where we first passed a uh, bond millage and a lot of people didn't understand what that millage they was. Didn't, they many, didn't they didn't how understand how many times do people really study a millage or know about a millage well they don't follow it and neither do they look at really who the key players are and what their goal and agenda is okay. and so what most people know Detroit has never turned down a millage to support our schools mm-hmm. our library right, the right, museums we always say yes to yes, education yes uh, because despite what um the rate of illiteracy may be because people like to tout that and say Detroit mm-hmm. is 50 percent illiterate but the majority of the voters have always come out in support of mm-hmm. yes I may not have the best education but I want my child to have the best education and so they support our schools they mm-hmm. support our libraries they support our museums but what ends up happening uh people that are savvy enough to manipulate legislation legislation okay. uh, take over the funding mm-hmm. uh, and so that's what happened in 1999 you have a number of republicans that went to so England. they can legally do that oh it's it's legal because they learn how to use the legislature as a weapon okay. uh, and so as long as whoever understands law whoever True. understands legislation have the power to really do this and so mm-hmm. uh, that's why it's important to have people in the legislature uh, the house and the senate who represent our interests. Right. Uh, and that's right. important. And, and our people have to understand. As we go into 2014. 2014. It's critical. Couldn't be more critical. Mm-hmm. Um, even making sure that we have a Democratic governor. Uh, that's important. Hello. Because all of the and attacks. And Democratic Senate. Yes. Senate. Are you familiar I'll, with McCall? No, I'm not. And I and she came across my email. It's, a, it's a Jessica McCall. Oh, I've heard her name. Okay. I've heard her name. What is she running and for? I, running for senate okay Mm -hmm. i don't know i think it's a senate house i don't know there'll be a number of people running um i'm considering myself for running again uh in district eight on the northwest side um of detroit for state rep uh but it's not enough for me to run and when we need a majority democratic yes house and senate to make sure that these attacks house and senate because 
so that we won't go back to the same. And location. that's how. Even though they right got now, rid of the filibuster, but they'll still be trying to do it. Well, here, you know, here, here's figure the, out another way. Here's then. the thing. Um, what took place during the lame duck session mm -hmm. uh, with respect to right to work, uh, the emergency manager law. We repealed the emergency manager law. Right. Uh, and then they gave us a new emergency manager anyway. law. Uh, we have, we're mm -hmm. operating right now under PA 436. No democracy. No democracy. Mm -hmm. And so you have a number of people, labor, faith, uh, Michigan Ford, Brandon Jessup, uh, they're advancing an, 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 an initiative now to repeal and replace 436. But some people are a bit discouraged because we did that um, with PA4. Okay. Uh, and so we started out with PA 72, which was on the books, and Jennifer Granholm appointed Robert Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we got PA 4. Uh, then from Robert Bob, we got Roy Roberts. And then from Roy Roberts, we got. Uh, now, what does PA mean? Uh, uh, it's a public it's it, it's the public uh wow you just you just thrown me with that okay it is the policy uh that is put forward uh in legislative terms okay. i'm so used to saying because when you say pa72 PA and pa4 public action uh okay. and i may be getting this wrong i may need somebody to call in right now but you just kind of as <laughs> soon as you asked me just kind of just throw went out my head okay uh but it's basically the the beginning phase of the legislation mm -hmm. uh that was put forth so public act public act okay. Okay. Uh, 72, which was the first emergency manager law, then PA4, which was the next, and mm -hmm. then PA436, public and I think act. they slept that they had a, uh emergency manager for the DPS. Right, and so most people were quiet about the emergency manager for DPS because okay. we've been bombarded with all these stories over the years about how bad DPS was, mm -hmm. how poor DPS was. And so taking all of this information, a number of the, uh, a lot of the information was false. It was slanted and it had an agenda to dismantle the school system. But mm -hmm. because people fell for it and believed it and they looked at a school board in which they thought was inadequate and dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. And so they said, well, yeah, let the school just go. But what they did not realize mm -hmm. is the school system was just a smaller microorganism of what would take place with respect to the city. Oh, okay. so, right. So they did it to DPS first and then now they're doing it to the city. OK, now I was saying that with respect to the city, uh, city council, the mayor, none of them have any power when it comes to DPS. No, the, the, the city does not have power over the school system. We're under a governance model uh, wow. where it's just the, the elected school board. But right now, the elected school board has no jurisdiction, no power. We just went to court. On okay. Friday, mm -hmm. I was appointed to the school board uh, to fill a vacancy that was created on the school board by okay. Roy Roberts. Okay. Okay. And so the school board unanimous, unanimously appointed me mm -hmm. uh, to that vacancy. Okay. But because we're under PA 436. Here we go. The authority lies. PA 436 yes, now. <laughs> public I, act. Got okay. it now. Public act. Uh, we The authority now rests within the powers of the emergency manager. And mm. so when we went to court on Friday, a number of people don't realize I was distraught um, over Judge Barry's decision, mm -hmm. not because I so much wanted to serve on another board. I have a number of boards mm -hmm. that I serve right. on, uh, but because of the implications and the precedents that it was set for our city government. Oh, and okay. so we have an emergency manager that's over our school system. Mm -hmm. And we have emergency manager, Kevin so Orr, that's over the city. Mm -hmm. So if the emergency manager with DPS is able, the judge is setting precedence, legal precedence of what the uh, powers of the emergency manager is over DPS mm -hmm. to appoint, replace, remove an elected individual. Now we get into a situation where we go to uh, legislate or adjudicate cases where in which Kevin Orr oversteps his boundaries. Mm. We've already framed what wow. he has the legal rights Okay. to do and now when we talk about wayne county possibly going into receivership or receiving an emergency manager same wow. thing and we look at our court systems so that have been taken over crossing each other they're all interconnected but what wow. they've convinced our community to do is see them as individual issues mm -hmm. separate issues and so you may have people who are fighting on behalf of uh, getting kevin or out of the city but won't lift a hand or say anything about dps mm -hmm. but what they don't realize is they're all interconnected all together they're all they're all together and for those of you that are listening, if you have a comment, a question, give us a call. 313-868-4336. 313-868-4336. Give us your voice. Give us your opinion. Give us your question. We'd love to have you call us. 
right now. This is really interesting. Yeah, it is. How people play the game. It's a big chess game. And I'm saying what's game. really interesting, Sherry, mm-hmm. is that you don't know who's playing the game. Oh, yeah. You, you have know, so many people behind the scenes. Not play the game. They end up playing the game. We got a call. Oh, yeah. Number five. Okay. Press it hard. There, it's on. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, ladies. Good afternoon. I was channel surfing uh, for here on, on TV 33, and I tuned in to another informative program, and I'm so happy to see the both of you. I believe the host of the show here, because I'm, I'm channel surfing, I just tuned in, I believe I'm looking at Orthea Barnes. Yes, sir, you are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, great, great, great. If you were to see me in person, Ms. Barnes, you would know my face. Yeah, your voice sounds familiar, though. Okay, okay. What's well, your it's name? Great. It's Cephas Johnson, as a matter of fact. Say it again, I'm sorry. Cephas Johnson. Cephas Johnson. You might know um, a mentor of mine, Dr. Mary Wilkes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cephas, I know you. Well, How you doing, go. sweetie? There, there we go. There we go. It's, it's great to see you. It's great, it's to, great to see you as you. well. Now, I'm not going to rush you, but I am rushing you. What's your question? I wanted to, I wanted to make a comment to say that it, it's shocking to hear that the, the way that the legislature has kind of bamboozled us, it's, it's shocking mm. to hear that it's really a crisscross move as opposed to, to feeling that, you know, the, the pieces might be separate and, and that we can deal with the pieces separately and attack them, you know, individually. Mm-hmm. But what I wanted to say is I think what it's coming to that for shows like this one here on the television, and maybe there might be some shows on the radio that, you know, they present a forum for the community to call in and, you know, we exchange ideas and we get information. I think it's coming to the point where we're going to have to call for civil disorder, ladies. And, and I, maybe, maybe mm. you all can talk about this back to, you know, back to us. I'll, I'll hang up and then maybe you can toss it around. But it seems as if if we're coming to a point where there's no democracy in our democratic society, at least for us here in Detroit, then we're going to have to step things up. And, I mean, if it, if it comes to, a, to an issue or a matter of civil disorder, however you want to lay it out, you know, if we go, if we go to A route, if we go to G route, if we go to H route, I think maybe that's what we need to talk about. So now what do you ladies think about that? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because you're not the only one that has said that. I take the Metro lift a lot of times, and the young man that drives me a lot of times talks about that civil unrest. Okay. So I'm going to let Sherry, our expert over here, talk about it. Yeah, well, I'm we'll going to hang up. Well, Stevens, thanks a lot for your call and your question. Thank you, you know, it's we're at a time and place where unifying our agenda is important, mm-hmm. really coming together collectively. And so I'm appreciative of... Uh, the, I'm a part of the National Congress of Black Women, mm-hmm. uh, Detroit Branch NAACP, Fannie Lou Hamer, uh, and we were supported by UAW Region 1 Way A. Uh, November 14th, we held an education town hall okay. that spoke to uniting mm-hmm. um, our agenda and helping people to better Congress understand. Congress was a part of that Yes, too, he right? was. He was an honorary mm-hmm. chairperson. Thank you for saying that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we came together. We brought people all together from the state, uh, the legislature, from the, the senator, Burt Johnson, mm-hmm. various uh, representatives, uh, city council member, uh, Joanne Watson, okay. uh, President Al Garrett, uh, a number of people just came together, uh, Commissioner Martha Scott. So we had all entities present that talked about this very issue. Mm-hmm. The biggest p- challenge we have is educating people on what the issues are so we can establish that united front. Some people are not willing to go to bat or to war uh, because they fear losing their job. Mm-hmm. Uh, they fear backlash. Um, you look at people taking a stand as simple as the court system in Ingham County, where they forced us initially to go and deal with our cases um, outside of our normal constituency, mm-hmm. dealing with the emergency manager cases. And when Robert Davis started winning and getting success at that court level, then you have all. another legislation that the governor was able to advance through mm-hmm. to short shut down the appeals process by shutting down the court. So not many people are willing to stick their heads out there. Mm -hmm. I have a number of people that cheer me on silently. They'll send me a text. They'll inbox me a message. But do they want to come out on the front line saying emphatically what they believe against the emergency manager? Mm -hmm. In a lot of instances, no, because they don't don't want to lose a job or an opportunity for contracts. Mm -hmm. And so they'll push you out there, Mm -hmm. but they don't want to come. And so I don't know that we have uh, the coalition to really uh, build – uh, a fight against uh, uh, what's being done to us and to have that civil unrest. So, so uh, that now with that, 
with that meeting that you had, that town hall meeting yeah. that you had, mm -hmm. did you leave there with some kind of understanding that maybe we can what I was what I was what I was pleased about I was pleased about the fact that we had a number of decision makers and stakeholders leaders mm -hmm. um, in that room that committed to coming together um, asked me as consi uh, uh, President Garrett from asked me is continued to uh, made a commitment to have ongoing conversations okay. uh, with our groups and establishing a collective agenda we're not going to agree on everything but we can at least find key cornerstone issues that can help advance us through 2014 and that's what's necessary uh so now as you continue this on and he's going to continue it ask me going to continue uh, all the groups that is were it, involved is it once a week is it because some that person may be wanting to to be a part of it or can that happen uh, i'll tell you what they certainly can okay. um and hester wheeler which is the political um education chair okay. uh for the naacp continues mm -hmm. to hold these meetings and convene them on a weekly basis okay. uh, but for those that are interested in participating at any level please reach out to me at 313-643-5323 again that's 643-5323 mm -hmm, that's important because many people want to do something they just don't know how to get in contact you're with, absolutely right and so know. getting that information and I, I appreciate you for that mm -hmm. um and so certainly uh, we want to make sure that people are in, uh, encouraged to participate also every tuesday at the naacp office on okay. on on, on second, second and seward uh, a meeting is held every tuesday their issues and allies meeting and so a lot of the information is disseminated at that meeting mm -hmm. 10 o'clock every tuesday morning if people would show up to those meetings uh, and get information and learn how that they can lock arms together with these initiatives. Uh, okay. Certainly, they can be a part that way as well. Because many people think there's nothing I can do. Or, or something everybody or, you know, can do. My voice doesn't count. Yes. Especially when they've got discouraged about voting. Yes. And their vote didn't count. Yes. Well, a, a number you know. of people are concerned. And so we have to have, again, we have to come together. I'm, I'm very proud of the work, again, that Michigan Forward is doing uh, with respect to repealing and replacing. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know. Governor Snyder, he, he built himself as this nerd, but he's one of the most lethal governors we've ever had in the history of Michigan okay. because he's really, really smart. And he plays this game at a level that most people don't get. It. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when he came with the new emergency manager law, that 436, he put appropriations with that. And what that does, it make it difficult to repeal it. Um, wow. But I right. So okay. people need to tap into Michigan Forward. They have a Facebook page. Brandon Go, Jessup. Brandon Jessup. Go on. Is too. it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Brandon's a great guy. He used to come on here with me. He hasn't been on in a while. Well, we got to get him on again. Yeah, we get yeah, him because on. Because he's, he's, he he's send it. His the girl that works with him too. He would send her sometimes. Okay, well, well, certainly mm -hmm. want to make sure that uh, that opportunity is available right. to them because they have some great work coming forward. Um, I worked great with Brandon when we were getting the petitions to repeal uh, Public Act Four. Uh, so certainly, I'm looking forward to really digging our organization mm -hmm. to make sure we support his effort to repeal and replace, uh, and that's important. It is. It is. Okay. Now, is there anything else that we need to know before I ask her to say? <laughs> You didn't forget that song. No, I didn't forget. Well, more, more, more than anything, uh, again, just mm -hmm. knowing what the implications will be uh, for Detroit City Council. Uh, again, Brenda Jones, we talked about that on our last show, got the most votes in this previous election. Okay. People need to pay attention to who's going to be the president um, oh, of City Detroit Council. City Council. That's mm -hmm. important because it deals with the two-third vote necessary to rid our city and our schools of having an emergency manager. Mm. Yeah. That's why the how, emergency how manager. That, how does that hook up together? Oh, we'd have to it. talk about that a little bit more. But that's Section <laughs> 19 of Public Act 436. It deals with the two-third vote, how the legislation was written that mm. will be required. And so that's why the emergency manager was adamant about putting Jonathan Kenlock on the school board instead of allowing the school board to pick their own mm. replacement. So mm. he could manipulate that two-third vote that's necessary to get rid of the emergency manager. It's amazing what we don't no. Yeah, our people perish for the lack of what? Understand knowledge. knowledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I appreciate you coming okay. to be with me. Okay. <laughs> she. And I see somebody singing see for a song. Saying a song. A well, song. since it's Thanksgiving, we're just so, gonna say okay. close out with "Thank You, Lord." Okay, come on. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, you Lord. Thank you. You Lord, yes. I just want to thank 
you, Lord, you've been so, so good. Oh, yes, you have, Jesus. You've been so good. Yeah, Yeah, you've been so, so good. I just want to thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, and thank happy Thanksgiving. You. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. We'll be right back. Black cloud that used to mess up my day. 